Happy Memorial Day. Mm. I'm out of wine. Anyway, so I'm heard all. Uh, I'm sure all of you have heard of Mizzy, this real pain in the ass TikToker bro, who pulls all of these just a prank bro type of antics for likes and views and all this shit on TikTok, and. I think the only reason anybody really knows his name recently is because his pranks are outright criminal terrorist behavior. He has touched women without their consent, walked up to people and spouted death threats. He has walked up to people, stolen their dogs and walked away with them. Um, recently what got him into a lot of hot water was walking into people's homes just out of nowhere. He's got his little buddies with him, recording him walking right through the front door of people's homes. And this last guy he pulled this shit with actually came up from his basement to say, I've got kids here. Who are you? They eventually ran out, but it doesn't matter. Um, All kinds of people are stating the obvious. It's clear he's from the UK. If this were the United States, he'd be killed. Um, I don't know if it's because the law didn't know who he was and finally caught up with him, or if it's because all of his terroristic acts have gone so viral and pissed off so many people that authorities had to act. And first he got cited. I don't know if he paid the fine or threw the ticket away or what the hell happened with that. But then a couple of days later, he ended up getting arrested. But I believe it was just some slap on the wrist. He got out again. So now... He is immediately back to his old antics. He actually ended up on Piers Morgan show where he tried to bitch and complain that it's because he's black that people are reporting him and have problems with him. Uh, Clearly that has nothing to do with it. Again, um, (laughs) I don't think this idiot even realizes how much leeway he's been given considering the fact that if he were in the United States, he wouldn't live to be on Piers Morgan. Somebody would have blown his ass away. And he still continues to complain. It's because I'm black. It's racism. You live in the UK. You know, you haven't been shot at once. Nobody has said anything about your race, but Obviously, it was a slap on the wrist when he ended up getting arrested because now he's done this. Takes the controls of a commuter train and terrorizes passengers while he was court-ordered to avoid social media for breaking into people's homes. So apparently when he got arrested, he was actually ordered, like I was hoping they would order him to, not to use social media. He's not allowed to use it. Well, he's back again. I don't know if this was today or yesterday. He calls it GTA 6 in real life. Open the door, open the door. Wait, wait, not yet, not yet. No, no, not yet, not yet. (laughs) Come on. I wonder if they have a mirror. I wonder if they have a mirror. I so fucking hate Reddit. Um, his name is Mizzy, by the way.
Oh, faces new charges. Yeah, here it is. Open it, open it, open it. Wait, nothing's wrong. No, no, not yet, not yet. Wait, not yet, not yet. How is that just Hey, what happened to get there? Hey, let me get in here. We outside. Hey, the man is outside. Hello, can I call the police? The people on the train! Reality! Reality is the reason! Yeah, I'm telling you. Yo, sir! That's him after leaving court goes right back on TikTok to Brad. After breaching court-ordered social media ban imposed from when he barged into people's homes. Bakari Bronzogaro, known as Mizzy, and notorious for posting footage of his so-called pranks online, stands accused of endangering safety after entering the train driver's cab and interfering with the controls and safety equipment. He's in custody after last night after appearing on three separate charges. I think one thing that they should do is throw this motherfucker in prison for a few years. Kill two birds with one stone here. Not only will you get the message out to him, but you will also get the message out to everybody that it's just a prank, bro. It's not an excuse. Look at the shit he did in that public commuter train. Anything that he could have touched could have endangered the lives of everybody on that train until they did their next inspection. I don't know what they do on commuter trains, if there's a checklist they have to go through, if they have to check all the controls before a new conductor gets behind the controls. I don't know if they do that. I don't know. They might have inspections like once every month or something. Uh, anything that this idiot could have touched or manipulated could be the difference between life and death for people on that train. I don't give a shit what anybody says, and no, it's not overreacting. Imagine if this idiot went into somebody's hospital room or a surgery hall and started fucking with equipment, recording it because it's just a prank, bro, and what does that mean for the next poor patient who went in there for surgery? It's the same thing with the train. You don't know what the hell he did or what he could have done. There's a reason you're not allowed in there. And this is scores worse, I would say, than picking up people's dogs and pretending to run away with them or... Uh, walking up and just giving them death threats below his breath or touching women without permission, it's, it's far worse than that. And this is after being cited and then arrested and then given a court order not to use TikTok. If he didn't have his phone... If there weren't an audience there to watch him, he would have never done any of this shit. It doesn't matter to him. It is loud and clear by now. It doesn't matter 
what he's doing, what people think is right or wrong. He doesn't give a shit about people's boundaries. He doesn't care about people's safety. He doesn't care about who he has to hurt in his quest for internet fame or TikTok fame. That is a fucking sociopath. That is a psychotic, actually. Doesn't give a shit about anybody else's rights. The rules don't apply to him. And you could, they could, the magistrate or the courts or however it works in the UK, they can set quite the precedent for anyone that comes after him by putting this little shit away for a few years. It's obvious he's not going to listen to the court order not to go on social media. They should do with this kid what they do with pedophiles in the United States. When somebody is caught online trying to solicit a minor, when they're a pedophile, when they're a criminal, when they're uh, convicted or suspected of being a sex offender, FBI comes right into their house and confiscates all of their equipment. Anything that is internet capable, they take your phones, they take your hard drives, they take your laptops, they take your game consoles, anything that is capable of accessing the internet. They confiscate it. And they keep it until their people can go through everything so that they can bring the shit up in court, their findings. And even when the findings are finished, even when their research is finished, even when the court case is finished, these people usually don't get their equipment back. There are sex offenders that are ordered by the court. They're not allowed to have pornographic material. And these are like child sex offenders. They're not allowed to access any pornography, not even adult, normal, everyday porn hub pornography. They're not allowed any of it. Now you would think, you know, if they're looking at normal adult porn, wouldn't that be a lot better? But no, it, it doesn't matter. No porn whatsoever. Uh, sex offenders do not get their equipment back most times once it's confiscated. And that's if they don't end up going to prison. So why the hell should this little shit be any different? Why is it different? Because he's not strictly a sex offender. He only steals people's dogs. Um... Uh, sexually harasses women in the subway, uh, gives death threats to people, walks right into people's homes with the family sitting right there because it's for the law. And now he gets into the conductor's cabin of a public transport commuter subway car and just fucks with all the controls, picks up the phone, Nobody knows what the hell he touched, what the hell he could have done. And he has the balls to complain that it's about racism, that people have a problem with this. Trust me, honey, it's not racism. Racism, and you would have been dead by now. In the United States, that homeowner would have put a bullet in your head. That old lady that you took the dog away from probably would have chased you down and beaten you half to death. There's a lot of racism that happens in the United States. There is a lot of paranoid right-wing gun nut lunatics in this state. We have fucking children who are being shot in the head for playing hide and seek in the wrong yard. We have children that are being attacked and shot in the face because their bouncy ball rolled into the wrong yard. 
You are putting people's lives at risk. You get a slap on the wrist, and you want to scream racism. Trust me, honey, it ain't racism, which is the reason people are fucking pissed off toward you. You're just a little sociopath. And I'm telling you, and he's not even the only one. I mean, you don't really hear of people going as far as he did, but there are plenty of just a prank bro TikTokers that annoy the fuck out of people. And this is another thing that I'm I'm talking about. I just saw that video of the just a prank bro TikToker who, you know, told this woman on the beach, oh, I thought that guy with you wasn't your husband, it was your your gay friend. He got his equipment ripped out of his hand and thrown into the ocean. And then the cops told him to get the fuck off the beach. That was for a statement. This guy kidnaps animals and manipulated controls on a commuter train. They need to put him away. Put him away for a few years or confiscate his equipment. You don't want him on TikTok. He's not allowed to have social media. Confiscate everything. Take his desktop uh, tower, his hard drive, take his laptop. Uh, Take away his phone. Give him a fucking flip phone. That's the phone you're allowed to have. Call the Internet service provider. Nowhere that he lives is allowed to have Internet access, is allowed to get access. You can definitely do it. If we can pull that shit with pedos over here, then you can do that shit to this little shit over in the UK. And that's if you want to be nice. If you don't want to be nice, then I wouldn't be nice anymore. I'd put him away for a few years. And that would really set one hell of a precedent for all of those just a prank bro TikTokers out there. It would be beautiful. Obviously incapable of learning and being in society, lock them up. Just an addiction to social platforms. Well, you know, if I were addicted to crack and walked into somebody's house, guess what happens? I get arrested. If I were addicted to crack and decided to steal someone's dog, or give death threats to people out in public, guess what happens? He'll definitely learn not to do that when they give him a couple of years. He'll learn someday. Imagine making money in combination with a total lack of responsibility for your actions. Well, not like that hasn't happened before. Enough with this asshole. He even said the laws in the UK are too soft. Time to show him that forgiveness only goes so far. So he's out on probation and decides to immediately do something really fucking stupid again. So it's obvious he doesn't learn. They need to throw him in the lockup for a few years. Or ban him from having a smartphone. That's what they do to hackers when they get caught. Well, the point is, he's incompatible with society and should be separated from society. There are places built for just that purpose. thousand percent belongs in jail. This is a menace to society in the true sense with no care, concern, or empathy for other human beings or their rights. 
The wannabe Mizzies that are soon to be spawned will likely be worse than him. Not if they put his ass away for a couple of years. Like I said, kill two birds with one stone. Set a legal precedent. Maybe what people say is true. Maybe it's because all of our politicians are over the age of 60. They probably don't even know how to check their own email. I doubt any of them know how this shit works. We are in a new digital age, and that in itself is terrifying. I'll tell you, you know, and I'm not even as young as some of these people that are on TikTok and whatnot. And even I know enough. I would take away everything from this son of a bitch. I would take away everything. Actually, at this point, too late for that. I'd put him away for a couple of years. Then the UK has a very important, very relevant legal precedent. Do you understand what that means? Anybody who tries to copycat this piece of shit will face the same uh, wrath from the justice system because they made an example out of this shithead. Drop him from social media. For him, it would be worse than a death sentence. He sounds like an actual psychopath. Before this shit, I thought he was just another garden variety idiot. Saying it's a prank doesn't alter the law. A criminal act is a criminal act. Yeah, duh. Like how he puts on their GTA. You know that stands for Grand Theft Auto? The criminal charge that you go to prison for? Jesus Christ. Yeah, this is when sites like Instagram and TikTok need to step up and remove criminal content and purposely deprive these assholes of an audience. Well, again, that's up to the laws in certain countries. That's why I said these old, crusty-ass politicians probably don't even know what TikTok is. They probably sit there going, what's a TikTok, tick, 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 tick? Now, we need, in this digital age, we need younger, more knowledgeable people making your laws and enforcing your laws. You know, I hear that Elon Musk is thinking of eliminating Twitter in the U.K., because he doesn't want to follow the UK's laws about disinformation spreading, which would include anything to do with the Internet. He wants to spread right-wing disinformation. So he's actually thinking of pulling Twitter from the UK, okay? Then it's that fucking simple. This asshole can finally get what he's always wanted to get. He can become famous. He can become famous for being the little twat that ruined TikTok for an entire country. Now, wouldn't that just be awesome? Isn't that technically hijacking a train? Yeah, I think it would be. You know, maybe if this guy actually managed to kill a few thousand people, they do something about it. Hopefully we won't be seeing any more of him now. He'll be cooling his heels in a juvie.
removed by Reddit. Best idea I've ever heard. Because I can't read it. Don't worry, dumbass. Pretty sure you'll be able to create a lot of <laughs> a lot of OnlyFans content behind bars. His interview when confronted by Piers Morgan, he immediately plays the race card and makes himself look fucking stupid. Bro, it has nothing to do with that. You're just a piece of shit. Huh. Messing with public transportation in this manner. That's terrorism. Some jail time for this jack-off seems appropriate. Main issue I have with this is he's constantly hurting himself so nobody can teach him a lesson. Is that also, like, a soft-ass UK thing? Because that wouldn't make any fucking difference in the States. He's in London. He just won't get struck by rapid gunfire. Knuckleheads will only learn from experience when they are on the receiving end of the lesson. In my country, we'd give him such a beating, he would forget what TikTok was. Ooh, the judge in this case should announce that it's dismissed, followed by it's a fucking prank, bro, and send him away for a decade. Can't wait to see him cry like a baby at his sentencing. General population's gonna love this fool. Yep, if they don't make an example of this guy, it opens up the idea that people will get away with anything they want. Please lock him up. Guy's fucking ugly. His voice is annoying and his content is shit. I'm sure sooner or later he'll walk straight into a knife. I just hope the one stabbing doesn't get PTSD. I believe that no matter what country you come from, what he did is a federal crime. I hope they put him in prison for a long, long time. Yep, judge should confiscate his, ho his phone and then hold the parents responsible. Yeah, I totally agree with that.
a good day to remember that Trump balked at visiting a World War I cemetery for fear that his hair would get wet. That really sucks. Well, we celebrated our Memorial Day yesterday with a, holy crap, it's like a 12-hour barbecue. My ex-neighbor and my friend was up since 5.30 in the morning so he could start smoking a brisket. We got there around 2. We didn't leave till like 9. We ate at like 7. It was the most tender brisket I've ever eaten. I pledge allegiance to the flag of one and a half mil dead from gun violence. America has a holiday for the 1.2 million veterans who have died in wars. Oh shit, that sucks. That's right. More people die of gun violence in this country than have died in the war. Or all wars. I can't remember which one. Reminder that Trump dodged the draft and called avoiding STDs his personal Vietnam. I've been so lucky in terms of that whole world. It's a dangerous world out there. It's like Vietnam. It's my personal Vietnam. I feel like a great and very brave soldier. God, can you just die already? Aren't you like 76? To keep repeating the same thing and expecting a different outcome is a sign of insanity. Well, whatever happened to if at first you don't succeed, try, try again. <laughs> Conflicting arguments. Ooh, girl obliterates annoying bully. I want to see a good fight. Yes, a mirror. Nutra grain fire and a. <laughs> Let's go! Come on! You know, fights are all the same, whether with guys or girls. I would hope that if I got pissed off enough and got into a fight, I wouldn't just flail my arms or grab at people's hair.
Ew, dog poop. Did you hear our chap McCarthy got that Biden fellow to give us IRS funding? No audits for us. Looks like we can keep evading taxes. Taxes, eh? What are those again? Again? Dick writing certificate. Cool. Rick's Repair Shop in Tallahassee, Florida. Shameful. Veterans get a day. FAGs and child molesters get a month. Why? This kind of bigotry should have no place in our Tallahassee community. It's an embarrassment. And the people at Rick's Repair Shop should be ashamed of their foolish, hurtful, and wrong words. That's Rick's Repair Shop, Tallahassee, Florida. Should have put that in bold. This Memorial Day, do not forget that Trump once called dead American soldiers suckers and losers. In a conversation with senior staff members, Trump said, Why should I go to that cemetery? It's filled with losers. In a separate conversation, Trump referred to the Marines who lost their lives at Below Wood as suckers for getting killed. Wow, sounds like he would have been quite an asset back in Vietnam. I mean, there's still time if we the people wanted it to happen. We could always uh, say it was him taking a rain check and force him to serve. He's obviously not a sucker, so he should be invincible in any situation. Conservative men don't want to date a woman. They want a bang maid. For the love of God, never date conservative men. That's a really, really good piece of advice. Florida has the most child beauty pageants in the entire U.S. of A. Florida will even have beauty pageants for infants and swimsuit pageants for toddlers, these include fake nails, fake teeth, makeup, spray tans, waxing, and bikinis on two-year-olds and a five-year-old should not be wearing a G-string. There are your groomers. Yeah, people have been creeped out by that shit for a very long time. Oh, and this is exactly what it is. Watch someone move the goal posts in record time. What's a MAGA going to do without his Ford truck now that they say Ford Pride? Nothing, because we drive Chevys and GMCs. That's fine, as long as they aren't targeting kids like Target is right now. Holy shit. These people are so fucking insane. How to solve climate change. Convince Republicans oil is woke. Yeah, they don't believe in climate change because they believe in the Bible. The world is not supposed to end and nothing bad is ever supposed to happen to humanity until the rapture they believe in comes. 
once their buddy Jesus touches down in Israel, that's when the world is supposed to end. That's what the Bible says. So they are going to ignore the signs of the world ending or becoming uninhabitable for human beings. It's amazing, but people in any other, any other advanced nation they are just it's amazing if you ever see any of these people in interviews not just now but over the years they cannot believe how fucking bat shit insane Americans are how backward this country is when you have politicians that actually say the word God, they're confused when politicians even mention the word God. Even in Texas, a horse only gets you so far. If it gets the same level of devotion from these men, summed up in their motto, the last to let you down. You drop Here's all the CBS News. Are, you know, caring about yourself. Memorial about Day honor. No I'm gonna take a little break. Right I'll be right back. This is the most honorable, humbling thing I've ever done in my life. On that note, you should understand the body bearers don't often do interviews. They're uncomfortable with attention. So after this story is done, Corporal Givens has politely asked that you never consider them again. We would just ask I guess that um, people don't think about us that they think about the Marines that we are honoring pay respect to them Steve Hartman on the road at Arlington Cemetery and that is what you call selfless service finally tonight we trust there is a special place in heaven for America's fallen heroes we know there's a special place on earth for their children. Steve Hartman found it on the road. All right, who's next? Go. Outside Milwaukee, Wisconsin, there's a kid's camp that has all the makings of a typical summer camp. Except the kids who come here share one exceptional bond. Throughout the whole camp, you always have supporters. It was easy to make friends because we were also similar. Since 9-11, 5,000 kids have lost a parent because of war. And a few years ago, Camp Hometown Hero started as a way to bring those kids from across the country together. This is James House. His dad, John, a Navy medic, died in a helicopter crash in Iraq. That was in 2005, when James was just a month old. Can you explain to me how can you miss somebody so much that you never met, really? I miss him because he's my dad. I might not have met him in person, but he's always with me. Over the years, James wanted to mourn, but says he couldn't really. Partly because his friends at home, while well-intentioned, weren't saying the right things. At school, when Father's Day passes, that's a big deal. and. Everyone's making little Father's Day cards, and I get a little sad. And they say, I know how you feel. But it's not the same. It's not the same. And here, I get to cry, and they can say, I know how you feel. And I know they know how I feel. And that's a great feeling. For many of the kids, this is their first chance to just let it out. To help in that effort, they do a balloon release where campers write messages to their loved ones. Dylan Simon lost his dad in 05. Dylan was a camper here for four years, but this year he's back as a counselor. My first balloon release was one of the hardest because I actually physically let go of everything that I was holding on to over the years. One, two, three! 
A lot of kids say the balloon release is the best part of camp. And at first, we could not understand why. There's nothing you could say to a kid to make them feel better when someone is gone forever. But then something magical happened. The kids started reaching out to one another. Not a word was said, because not a word was needed. Proving that sometimes all it takes to let go is the right person to hold on to. Steve Hartman, On the Road. Sad. That's why it's even more important to remember the shit that Trump has said about our fallen heroes. I would like to thank the many Americans who made the ultimate sacrifice to protect our freedoms. Now, excuse me, I have to get back to trying to destroy as many of those freedoms as possible. Here, here. Yeah, if DeSantis ends up president, we'd need a Memorial Day for democracy. What's that about going woke, go broke? The official Trump 2020 gay pride MAGA hat and t-shirt. Anything for a fucking grift. In an exclusive interview with The Independent, Mizzy said, I'm a black male doing these things, and that's why there's such an uproar on the internet. Spoken like a true sociopath, anything to get out of reciprocation and consequences. I might not shoot him simply because he's a skinny little prick, but definitely would beat his ass for coming into my house. Would be a 10 on the fuck around find out scale. God bless your American ass. If it happens, kindly record it and put it online. I would love to see him try these pranks in the United States. Admittedly, it would be a very short video. Remember that trend a while ago where people were just sucker punching random people? And of course, it was almost always frail old people. Hundreds of vines and YouTube videos of it. Until one day, some guy punched an old lady and she had a gun and shot him. The trend immediately died after that. He knows exactly what he's doing and could not care less. Okay, let's not argue. I don't care about semantics here. Here is the Memorial Day message by narcissistic moron Trump and the real patriot, President Biden. Please compare it. Biden says, on Memorial Day, we honor America's fallen heroes who gave their last full measure of devotion to this nation. We will never be able to repay the debt we owe them. You could come close, but... But today we rededicate ourselves to the work for which they gave their lives and we recommit to supporting the loved ones they left behind. Happy Memorial Day to all, but especially to those who gave the ultimate sacrifice for the country they love and to those in line of a very different but equally dangerous fire topping the threats of the terrorists misfits and lunatic thugs who are working feverishly from within to overturn and destroy our once great country which has never been in greater peril than it is right now 
We must stop the communist, Marxist, and fascist pigs at every turn and make America great again. I don't know if you realize the drop-off between Marxists and fascists. You know what? I, I don't care. Happy Bone Spurs Day. Mirror, mirror on the wall. Who are the biggest snowflakes of them all? Conservatives, when they hear about more kids killed by guns, thoughts and prayers. When they see a rainbow at Walmart. Richter getting exploded on the surface of Mars. Oh, I love this one. Elon Musk says, Well, butrin is way worse than Adderall, in my opinion. It should be taken off the market. Every time that drug has come up in conversation, someone at the table has a suicide or near-suicide story. <clears throat> Maybe because Wellbutrin is used to treat depression and depressed people tend to have a higher likelihood of suicide. By your logic, we should probably take cancer drugs off the market too, since many cancer patients die of cancer. Ethan Schmidt, right-wing activist who went viral for destroying Pride merchandise in Target, has been active on day gating apps for several years. Every, 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 every time. Every accusation is a confession every single time. I knew it. We all knew it. Everyone fucking knew it. The guy was definitely a closeted homosexual. Ashley Babbitt's grieving mother, Mickey Whithuft, was swindled by a grifter. Mickey needs help to continue her selfless activism in Washington, D.C. This Memorial Day, please remember Mickey Whithuft, her team, and her veteran daughter, Ashley Babbitt. The guy who set up the Ashley Babbitt Fund stole all the money. Ha <laughs> ha! Oh my god. Well, well, I don't know. I was going to say Ashley Babbitt's dead, but, you know, ostensibly that fund was set up in the wake of her death to help with the whole right-wing, self-professed patriot bullshit effort. And he absconded with all the money. Her daughter was a traitor who betrayed the oath she swore. I really don't care. Yikes, that's fucking dark. Grifters, grifting grifters, griftception. Only traitors martyr a traitor. And only traitors betray traitors. But suckers get taken every day. Grifters grifting grifters who belong to a grifter worshiping cult. Will, willed wills will, willed will, willed wills will, wills will. Okay. How much grift would a grifting grifter grift as if a grifting grifter could grift grift? Oh, a grifter whose daughter committed an act of terror against our democracy was grifted? Boo fucking who? Reportedly. I won't believe anything until I see a police report. 
everything in MAGA world is either a scam or a lie, usually both at the same time. I wonder if the donations had slowed to a trickle so they cashed out what they had and cooked up the story to give the donation gravy train another shot at it. Conveniently at Memorial Day to appeal to Patriot suckers. <laughs> what a bunch of America hating heathens. Once upon a time, that type of shit would get a union general to burn down your state so you would understand never to pull it again. Yup, the crowd of treasonous fucks had literally just watched as our legislators were guided around the corner by security. That's when they got amped up. They knew they were close. They started breaking windows with their bare hands and calling for blood. But no, it was just a bunch of tourists. What's even more insane? They had GOP members tweeting the locations of Democrats being protected by security. Nothing done about this whatsoever. They were probably tweeting out the locations because these idiots are so fucking stupid. If they had gotten in, they probably would have gone after any asshole in a suit or a pencil skirt. I doubt they would know which politicians were right wing or left wing i seriously believe that nice extra fuck you to fallen soldiers who died in service to our country instead of dying while trying to destroy it Karma's a bitch, ain't it? Imagine using your dead terrorist kid to grift money from strangers. Please donate to this other GoFundMe to recoup the funds lost to the first GoFundMe, which was a scam. So, the new grift is to claim to have been swindled by another grifter? Guess what? Her daughter died a traitor to her country while her oath is a soldier to protect the country against all threats foreign and domestic. Her mother should be so happy the military didn't posthumously strip her of her rank. As the judge said when sentencing the Oath Keeper idiots, there's a big difference between debating who the better leader is and storming a Capitol building looking to physically prevent a peaceful transfer of power. I'm sorry. Sorry that more of those traitors didn't die on that day. Those strict constitutionalists should have been arrested, tried, and hanged. Well, they did bring their own gallows. I guess it goes both ways. Hello, pretty one. Hasn't this misfit been arrested several times since her seditious daughter tried to overthrow our government? If you commit any act of sedition, you're not a veteran anymore. Either you believe in the state or you don't. If your beliefs are so aligned against the government you serve that you feel the need to rise up in a seditious act against the government, then you have removed yourself from that government and all the honors you may have previously earned, period. As an example, if tomorrow the U.S. government were to reinstitute slavery and I rise up against that act of armed insurrection, then I'm no longer a veteran. I have disavowed myself of the honors and service that comes from having served in our country's military. 
and I would gladly turn aside any honors conveyed to me by said government, past, present, and future. You don't get to have it both ways. Ashley Babbitt is a traitor. Very well said. So she's not a veteran anymore. Ha <laughs> ha. Surprise Pikachu. <laughs> I love this gif. The world's smallest violin. I actually did this yesterday. I had an opportunity to do it, and I did it. Presidential candidate Ron DeSantis says he'll abolish the IRS if elected president. One time when I was in junior high, one of the kids said that if he was elected class president, he would make the soda machines free. <laughs> yeah, exactly. The DeSantis bake sale to fund the government. It just dawned on me, Disney spent decades telling stories of college-age princes wooing 14 to 16 year old princesses and nobody batted an eye once they started to include gay characters all of a sudden they groom in the kids for pedos that's a really awesome point because math oh my god fucking people oh my god so many people still wearing masks I just want to ask you if a pair of underwear really thick ones high quality cotton can't protect you from a fart then how will a mask protect you from COVID? This, by the way, three toes ripped off of a viral video of a woman at a store who is just as ugly and Neanderthal looking as she is. A sneeze generates droplet nuclei ranging from 0.125 to 10. I don't know what that U symbol is. With a median size of one, which N95 masks can trap with 95 to 99% efficiency. Human olfactory receptors can detect smell from much smaller molecules, such as sulfur, with an approximate diameter of 0 0.0004. Yeah. Also, a fart may seem deadly, but it's not going to kill you. Elderly woman hits and runs a parked car. She came back and picked up all the evidence. Uh, the problem here. Okay. So the other day, this young man's car got hit, and look what we found. 
Yeah, I don't know how it. It's on camera. Is it me? No, no, you hear Ma'am, we have it on camera. We have it on camera. Yeah. Everything's okay. you're caught. I don't know why you try to run. Why wouldn't you just no, give us? Why wouldn't you just give us your phone number? Why, why wouldn't you? I went around. I'm like, what, what's you this? nailed me. It's on camera, and then you came back and took my mirror off the ground. Why? Why? I wasn't sure what to do. I'm a tutor and a teacher, and I can't afford this stuff. Why would you do this to me? I, I, for two days, I couldn't figure out what to do. Why wouldn't you just stop right so then and get a phone number? You have your license, your registration, and all that good stuff, and you go out of your car. Right? Yeah, so what do you... I won't do anything. I've been so upset about this, I can't tell you. Really? You could have came right back to the house and said something well, if you were I, that there's upset. There's nobody there. Really, really. No, you couldn't leave a note I or a phone number. Did you see me? I went around and couldn't leave a note or a phone number. They've got security cameras everywhere that you didn't okay. go. Yeah. I'm glad you came. Oh, you're you glad. I'm, I'm very. Serious. I'm I glad I found you, ma'am, before you left. I, I have a video of you in my car and then coming back and deliberately picking right, up the car. And I thought that's, maybe that's, you hit me. Let's go out to the car. Know. There's no way you thought that. <laughs> the car was parked. And I finally did throw it in the dumpster because I really thought. Somebody had thrown something at me. I have no idea. I'll tell you what we can do. We can trade cars right now. You want to just give me your car and you take mine? I'd be happy with that deal. You want this this car? Yeah. I I'll take that car and you take mine. Just about the I, I know you probably thought mine was like too crappy to get fixed. That's probably why you just plugged I the scene, right? I never even saw your car. It's okay. Can you, I'm not trying to get near you, ma'am. Oh, God. Uh, are you the, you're the, you're the dad or the, the husband? Yeah. I really appreciate you. What's who up? Who are you? I'm the person who your wife hit. Hit you personally? She hit my car okay. on Wednesday. Okay. Where, where did Can you happen? back up a little bit? No, no, no. Sir, you. this guy's getting really close to me for no. some reason. No, step away no. from him. Tell him to step away from him. Tell him to record all you want. This is for my own protection. I don't know if you have weapons or anything like that. Ma'am, you need your license, your registration, I don't know about this one. If Jack Texiera can be arrested for stealing, keeping and showing off classified docs on Discord, Trump can be arrested for stealing, keeping and showing off classified docs at Mar-a-Lago. Yep. Memorial Day reminder that when Donald Trump was asked to defend his country, he paid a quack doctor to gin up a bullshit note about imaginary bone spurs. Ted Nugent literally shit his pants. John McCain served and was a POW. Guess which ones Republicans hate? That's fucked up. Uh-oh. Man, I love public freakout. I love facepalm. Taken away by the monster. Okay. <clears throat> and. 
hand, another shooting. Woman tries to steal a kid's scooter for her own kid. touch me but she can touch them all she wants hate garbage people like her sadly her kids will think this is okay I knew it was just a matter of time before she threw those drinks at them well there's no other reason she'd have fast food in her hands right 10 years from now, both of those kids will be jumping over McDonald's counters, attacking employees, and running out of shopping malls with armloads of expensive merchandise. Very telling that despite this clear encounter of abuse against Asians, you still got idiots that will try to falsely claim the Asians are at fault despite no evidence of such. It's the same attitude that claims it to be racist to talk about issues of black on Asian crime, but yet will push for acknowledgement of anti-blackness within the Asian community when discussing Asian hate crimes. The statistics show the biggest perpetrators of crimes against Asians are blacks whom often believe they can't be racist because of false progressive beliefs. Shit like this needs to be called out and we need to stop promoting the idea amongst many liberals that victims of racism cannot be racist themselves. In fact, some of the biggest racists in today's society are from minorities themselves of all races. saddest thing about this is the abandoned shutdown blockbuster video behind them those kids have a bright future she's got a bride fanny pack did she steal that too or was someone dumb enough to marry her someone was already dumb enough to have a kid with her it was just a mistake Uh, 
Oh, well. I am done with that. I will see you all in gaming later on. Mwah.